What I have here are some matsutake or pine mushrooms and these are one of the most difficult mushrooms I've ever had to clean. So I'm going to show you how I like to do it. So these are, these should be number ones. These are so small that they haven't even, the cap hasn't even broke the little cortina here. Where you want to start is I just like to start peeling them. Use a nice sharp vegetable peeler. And one of the reasons these are so dirty is because the Japanese like to have the dirt attached to the end. So they just end up getting dirt all over them if you are buying Matsutake from a supplier like these are from. So it might be tricky, especially if they're a little dried out, which they could be if they've been sitting in some sort of little Asian market or something. They could be a little dry. But basically, just get the first layer of skin off of them. Now for the cap, if you have bigger Matsutake, you can definitely peel the cap too. These little guys though, you really can't peel them. They're too small and you're going to end up taking off too much skin here. So I like to take a little damp towel and just wipe them clean with a damp towel. And you might have to give it a couple goes if the dirt is really stuck on there but eventually you'll get it. Oh, and just from peeling these, just the aroma that comes off them is so strong. But I like them to look just like that. Like I said, if they are bigger, you can peel the caps. I'll do another one for you here. But as you can see, this can be kind of putsy if these are a little dried out. This one's a little bit bigger, so I can just peel him. And that's how I peel and clean Matsutake.